I, I think what, what often happens in, in um, teams that, um, that get things done, that accomplish things, is that the leadership changes. So are managers and leaders the same thing? Probably not. But, um, but I also noticed that in networks, that if you look at uh, the same people, but in, in different networks, you'll find that there's the person who's a leader in one network is maybe a follower in another network. And the person that's very involved in a third network is maybe not involved at all or way out on the periphery in a, in a, in a fourth network. So people play different roles and, and it makes sense that some people lead at certain times and then maybe drop back and, and not lead in other times. But this is sometimes difficult for people to do. Once they get used to leading, they feel that they need to continue to lead, maybe even when it's not appropriate or their skills don't, don't match the particular need. So again, some people may, it may make sense that person X leads in the design phase of a project, but person Y leads in the uh, implementation phase, and person Z leads in the, in the support and uh, rollout phase. So, you know, it's, it's that, uh, <clears throat> it's, it's, I think, you know, different people can play different roles, and I think maybe we need to look more at leaders than managers. And if we're looking at leaders, and we're if we're looking at uh, skills and knowledge and uh, and vision, then it's okay that we have multiple leaders that step up in it at at different times.